Hey folks, welcome to another video on WordPress administration from Eric Hepperly Designs. This is Eric, and I'm just going to show you today how to create a new blog post. There's a couple ways you can do it, a couple different places that you can create it from, but the first thing you have to do is log into your dashboard. Okay, now that you're logged into your dashboard, you'll see at the very top uh, dashboard main menu, there's a new option. Go to new and click on post and then you can start creating a post. Another place to do it, and probably the most common place for people to do it from, is the posts sub-menu in the, in the left sidebar of the dashboard. If you go under add new and click it, it'll bring us to a page where we can type in the name of our post. Let's say this is going to be, I don't know, 17 ways to eat healthy and save money during the holidays. Okay, so right here I might put something about have you ever had trouble eating healthy during the holidays? The delicious Sweets and treats and overeating in general seems to run rampant during these times. Now I'm not going to worry about spelling or anything at all, but uh, we'll go over. I've got some Laura Mipsum already. That's text that's gibberish that can be used as a placeholder text till you get it what you're actually going to put in there. So there we go. Now I've got a short post. Let's say I want to put an image in there. I will go to add media. Now I've already got images uh, but if I didn't then I'd go to upload and then go to select files and it would let me upload an image. So I'm going to take an image that I've already got. Let's say Mm. Let's do this one of me and my wife lighting our wedding candle. Notice there's no captions or anything. That's stuff that should be filled out, but in this case I'm not going to fill it out. So I'm just going to insert it into the post, and then if I go to visual, I can see roughly what this is going to look like. Okay. So I don't want it that big, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button to edit the image. And I'll go and I'll set the size right here. I'll say let's make it a medium size. There we go, that's better. And let's left align it. Okay, and I click update. Boom. Now I'm going to save draft. That will allow me to it's almost like save as or save in any of your uh, desktop applications. It will allow me to save everything that I've written so I don't lose it if there's um, you know, a glitch or a power outage or something goes wrong or my computer shuts down or whatever. Now WordPress auto saves anyway. You'll notice it says draft saved. I saved that. But WordPress will auto save. But just in case there's an issue, you don't want to take chances. So you click save draft whenever you make a change. And only when you're ready will you go and click publish. Now we'll go into some deeper aspects, but not in this video. That that's a subject for another video. We'll do a whole walkthrough. So now we're going to go and we're going to put um, a heading. So now on WordPress, your title always gets H1 heading. And for good search engine optimization SEO, you only want to have one H1. So what I do is I make my main title then an H2. So let's say this is the hmm, dealing with uh, 
trying to eat healthy during the holidays. So let's make that sort of the main sub-focus, okay? So I'll go into paragraph, and if I choose heading 2, boom, it automatically applies my heading 2 format. Again, I'll save draft, and if I want to see what it's going to look like in the actual web page with everything else applied, I can click this preview, but what will happen is it'll uh, go off this page, so I don't want to do that. So let's say um, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I'll go in, I'll give it a category. Uh, latest is my default category, but you want to pick something that makes more sense. Let's say something with exercise and fitness, and we'll do wellness. Now these are categories that I've added, you can add them too. And then let's, so tags, let's say relatives, holidays, and no, because holidays is actually in the categories. Relatives and eating, yeah, eating healthy. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click add, and then I'll add those tags, and then I'll do publish, and we'll be able to see over here this MailChimp thing is my last post that I posted on my blog. But now if I if I go in and do F5, I should be able to see that my new test post is posted. Okay, why don't I have an image? Well, I'll tell you how to do that too. So what you want to do is you want to go down to Featured Image. Now some themes don't have the featured image, okay? So you want to make sure that you pick a theme that has featured image. So you go to featured image, and I go and I pick the same image that I just had. Which one was it? My wife and the candle. There we go. And I'll click set featured image, and you don't need to worry about size or anything. Ignore that. Uh oh. Featured image should be at least one. Blah, 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 blah. Ignore that for now and then go to update and then if I go back and F5 you'll see my featured image is in there okay and I can change that I can change the size on that so if I go in there uh, let's see and if I scroll maybe edit image and a scale. Well, let's just say, forget about that. We don't need to worry about that. So you see, that's how I can put a, an image on. It shows up in my blog. And the image wasn't the right size to begin with, which is why it's not showing up the way these other ones are. But there you go. It's a quick video quick instructions on how to type, edit, and post a post. Thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you join us next time for our next video. And uh, look at the, our WordPress playlist to see more WordPress videos, how-tos, and tutorials. And have a great day.